Hmm, we need one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Previously, the Wayfaring Strangers. Well, what happened? And now we are very close to um, Neverlight Grove. Like within a 10 day. And we encountered some fungal infested people who we slain with vengeance. Burned it, burned it with fire. It had a fungal infection. It happens to the best of us. I believe uh, we wrapped up by having you guys find a decent place to rest. Or no, or were you interrupted? You were interrupted. Uh, we we got attacked, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't remember <laughs> what what happened last. Yeah. So you, you all were in the midst of taking a long rest. I believe how was uh. Iron Watch, and when you were attacked by the Spore Servants. Sounds right. about right. Oh, uh, I ended up, um, dissecting brains and then went crazy doing so. Weird dissection of a brain. Alright. Yeah, he was... It was like hacking up a body. I would like a roll of a d20 and a d6. I got the 20. Oh, right. I'm going all that. Probably ain't good. Um, uh, it's shooting paranoia right now. When don't you? <laughs> Extreme paranoia, not just paranoia. I know what I said. <laughs> Guess I'll do the D6. Oh. Oh, there you go. So, as you are traveling, you encounter nearly nothing. You actually are able to go several days without anything happening. Nothing weird. A few spots of light, uh, dim light from, from lichen and algae. But in a few spots within total darkness. Until you reach to a tunnel, which Sherith would definitely be like, yes. We are almost there. We're here. Is it a secret tunnel? No. Um. How long? How long am I under the uh, effects of whatever happened? Mm, I think we rolled that. Hmm. I think I remember hours, but I'm not sure. Check a few things here. Oh yeah, it was like... Yeah, so for almost a day, it was lasting, but that would have worn off during this time. Cool beans. Uh, Lassiter's paranoia kind of slowed everybody down a little bit. 
But this tunnel that Sarath is insisting will take you directly to the Neverlight Grove. You notice easily. First, you weren't sure, but as you continued on, the tunnels continued to glow and glow from the mist from a substance that you are familiar with. There is res. That's that crazy stuff, right? As it's you continue that. down the tunnels, do you, do you continue down the tunnels or what do you what do you do when you realize you're in amongst a plethora of fairies res? More explorers. Mm, let's see. Fungi. Fungi, fungi. Is there any other way around? Go looking for a different direction? Uh, well, I'll ask Saris if, he's, if he knows anything. This it's this way. It's this way. He kind of just points in one direction, deeper to the tunnels with Ferris Res. Trying to find my nose. What do you guys think? I want to find what they were and why we would want to avoid them again. Isn't... I thought that was, uh... It can lead like, to madness. Yeah. The spore stuff. Like mushrooms or whatever. You don't see any lichen? You don't see any fungi? Is this... No, it seems to be impermeating in the rock and just kind of pulses an eerie light. Uh, the Farron the Rose club. that made like Roderick um, witch really bad and stuff. Syra couldn't talk. Yeah. That's what the Farron Rose did. Okay. But I thought it was like uh, like a mist form or something that you breathe in. No. We were just oh. around it for too long. Uh... Okay. I misunderstood all that then. Um, well not not a mist. It's just a radius thing. Okay. Uh proximity. Well so am I as far as we can see. I'm sorry, go ahead. It, am I correct to assume that uh it's like a time thing? The longer you Day near it, the worse it gets. Um, roll me an insight check. Twenty-two. Yeah, it's definitely like if you kind of like pass them, then you're not exposed to it for if you're only exposed to it for a brief period of time. It doesn't really have any ill effects. But the longer that you're in it, the more potent its side effects can be. Uh, so as far as we can see down the tunnel, it's covered. Mm -hmm. as what you if entered, I were it was to just spend... a little bit, and it just got thicker and thicker. Lyra, can you maybe see like how like long the tunnel is? With like either. Yeah, I was, was going to. I was gonna say I can send the arcane eye down there and see how how far it goes. Yeah. And it lasts for an hour, so. Cast your arcane eye and send it. How far of a reach is it? I will post it. Okay. So it really doesn't have a range. No. There is no limit to how far away the eye can move. Oh, yeah. 
So it starts going down the tunnel, down in the tunnel. The tunnel ends up branching off. You go left or right? Let's try left. Goes the left. And you can see through the arcane eye, this fair's res seems to get thicker and thicker. And you, you can barely see anything now. It seems like it's just full and encompassed, and, in, and just the entire tunnel is covered with fair's res. Okay, then I'll backtrack and go to the right. Similar situation. Uh, and there seems to be no other path that we can take. I mean, there's backwards. At least down this tunnel. Mm-hmm. And I will turn my attention to the group and tell them it doesn't seem like there's any way. There's two tunnels, but it's just covered with, with this ferrous res. Doesn't seem like there's any safe pass- passage this way. Y'all want to chance it or f- try to take some time and uh, find another way? It'd be we... best, I believe, to find a different way. It's that or very slowly destroying it. Little by little. Can we destroy them? Would it would take like forever, would it? Uh, Seems like it's part of the rock. Mm. All right. Well, and going down where we are now, there was no other branching path. Nope. You had a. Long tunnel. I mean, where you started, where you got to that tunnel, there was other paths you could take. But it wasn't really directly towards, at least from what Sarah could tell you, directly towards Desert Light Grove. Uh, Then I would rather take the longer path, then. I don't want to get insane. So, so you turn back? Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to find a, another way around. So, you all turn around, start heading back the way you came. Sarah's protesting push. during it. As you walk down the tunnel, it, the Ferris Red seems to be getting thicker and thicker, and you have a fork in the road. You either go left. You can do it right. Um, so the path that we came from has Ferris Res in it too? That's what it seems to be. So are we already going insane? <laughs> Give me an insight check. Brittany answer your question. Or an arc on that check it would work too. It, it seems like you did you did turn around. You know that you turned around. But something maybe it's the Ferris res, maybe it's something else. Somehow is leading either leading you in the direction that you were heading. I don't know. Uh, um, um, you guys stay right here. I'm gonna turn around and just walk straight. Okay. So you go back up the hallway where you came. Uh, had had turned around previously. You come to a fork in the road. You can either go left 
Or you can go right. Did, did I meet up? Res is thick here. So um, I'm far away from Karad and Syrah. And you so. turn around, you can't see them. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I'll They're turn out back of your around. Dark vision. <laughs> I'll turn back around and get back with them. Okay. So you walk down yeah. the, the hallway? Yeah. Just trying to get back yeah. with them. You come to a fork in the road. You can either go left <laughs> or you can go right. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> and we never saw Lassiter again. <laughs> Red, Syrah, uh, Lassiter's been gone for a long time. It's a lost cause. It's not, it's not funny, but it kind of is. <laughs> Also, um, uh, everybody roll me a perception check. Perception. Perception. Okay. Syrah, um, as you've been standing here waiting for Lassiter to return, or maybe sitting, you know, lounging around or something, you notice that the fair re fair's res has gotten thicker. It's almost completely covering the walls. You haven't moved. Uh, I am going to start ritual casting detect magic because I think something is afoot and messing with us. Okay. Roll me a charisma saving throw. Um. Oh, yeah. damn. Actually, I make that an to. intelligent saving throw. I was gonna uh, don't try hurt to me. You protect magic as well. As soon as I realize <laughs> critical. Okay, you're able to cast a spell. Totally fine. Uh, and you're practically blinded by the magic that's around you, and it doesn't detect magic. Gives you the sense of what school of magic. It is unidentifiable. It is magic. <laughs> the entire walls are just magic. But you can't tell of whether it's of no schools of magic or all of the schools of magic. It is very unclear. Karad, I think I remember you having to spell magic. That is correct. I think there's something around us messing with our minds. Maybe maybe that could dispel whatever is going on here. By the way, the magic is specifically coming from the walls. Anywhere I should aim it. It seems to be emanating from the walls. Yeah. My so I'll, I'll kind of point towards a section of wall and keep my detect magic to see if anything changes. Okay, clap my hands, rub them together a bit, and then just press to like where it, like uh, Syrah points, and then um, focus cast the uh, detect uh, the spell magic. Hey, roll me a uh, charisma check. Nothing happens. Oh, I'm it, by the myself. spell goes off. You said you ritually cast it. I'm not sure. It's, it's spell magic. No. Okay. No, I just I I was just like focus this... like focus on it to do like the spell. Okay, so you it's a you you cast a spell. You spend the spell slot. Nothing happens. Let's see, what else do we have? I'm by myself. Go by yourself. Yes. Did, did you, are you just stopped at the fork in the road? Or what, what do you do? I 
turn back around. Okay. Uh, uh, Walk uh, for uh, several minutes. You come to a fork in the road. You can go left, or you can go right. A decision must be made. Fuck it. I turn left. Okay. Roll me a d20. You walk for a while, and uh, you come across Reaper Group. Oh, yeah. uh, Lasser has oh, been gone God. for about three hours at oh, this point. It's about time. time you get back. I thought I lost so you will guys. Come. And, and so the will walls come this entire time. time is just covered with Ferris Res. So I will kind of go up to Lasser and just kind of like pat his shoulders. Like, are you okay? Like, you've been gone for so long. Things have... Things have been getting worse here. To me, has it? Has it felt like three hours? Yeah, you've only been gone for an hour. As far as you're aware. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I got lost, and I was looking for you guys. Uh, these walls are tricky. Um, that they are... How has Sarah been acting this whole time? He's he's like looking around down both of the paths. Oh no. Not even Sarah knows to wait. Well I'll turn to Sarah and just be like Do you know which way to go? Yes. Which way? Both. You must I okay, I, I go over to Saris, grab his collar and just they like, concentrate guy, please. Which no, way No, seriously, they both lead to the same place. Okay. Um everyone Get in a single file line, maybe, and Sarah, you be in the front. You guide the way. Well, which, which, which one? J lead, lead with your heart. Just in the heart of the cards. Hey, right. he goes right. Doing good. Just, just you walk down the path. You come to a fork in the road. You can either go left, you can go right, or you can go straight. Oh. There's a third option now. I'm getting lost to woods from Zelda vibes here. <laughs> go towards the music. <laughs> How's the Ferris Res looking? It's. It seems like you're really walking through a tunnel of Ferris Reds at this point. We should probably hurry up. Um, uh, Stating the obvious. Ferris, any any change in direction? No, they all go the same way. Please. Let's let's go right. You get on the right path? Unless anyone else has an idea. Does it seem like anyone has been walking through these tunnels other than us? Uh, give me an investigation check. If I ask someone to help me, would it be advantage? Yeah. Well, this will help. Hey. Okay. Investigation? Mm-hmm. With advantage. 16. 16. The rock here is actually pretty solid. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any dust or, or loose bits of rock or anything. Uh, it's not smooth. There's still some texture to it. Uh, but there is nothing to show for a any sort of imprint or anything. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Then I guess I'll follow Seraph's path, uh, lead them. Let's go, go right. down the right tunnel. And you uh, actually emerge into a, a large cavern uh, full of mushrooms, fungi. They're all glowing the exact same color as the Pharaoh's res. Uh, oh, nice look down this. A nice little alcove, which is looks to be devoid. That's just full blackness. From what you can see. Uh, I'm gonna look down the stool and ask him. The stool, did do these fungi look different to you, or all the same? Mm, they look very different. I remember seeing fungi like this. I mean, I can identify some of them, like, like the, some of those types of 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 mushrooms, but uh, they're, they're coloring and, and the like, it's, it's like they are the mushrooms, but they're like made of something else. It goes up to uh, one of them and just kind of like pokes at it a little bit. Uh, and it acts just like a normal mushroom. It's just this glowing color of or glowing, eerily gl glowing color of the mushroom. Do we know? So he's... Do we know that stools are druid? Uh, after him shape changing a few times, yeah, he's probably a druid. Uh, can't you do like some type of tree thing to like? Uh, Actually, show us the path. Who, or... who has the stone speaker crystal? Did I? Because we can use that to speak with plants. It's true. Uh, what, what, what should I say? Uh, ask it if it knows the way to Neverlight Grove. Okay, um, focus on the stone speaker crystals. Do we spend three charges to cast? Speak with plants. And you ask it, which way to never like Grove? Yes. Hi! <laughs> no, I've never oh, actually Lord. talked to anybody. <laughs> Uh, 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 Light Grove. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, uh let me, hold on. Let me, let me ask around. Uh, it, it, it's, it's that way. Wait, which way? Uh, just, uh, just follow the path. Do I see a path? Uh, you see various exits out of this giant cavern. Ask it if it's seen anything else other than us lately. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, first thing here, uh, something's weird about here, uh, but I uh, I'm I'm abused of it. It literally says that. Something seems weird about her, what? Although, uh, only Karad can understand it. Because he's the one who passes by. Uh. What seems weird? I mean, uh, we're all pretty. We all somehow got gussied up. I don't know how it happened, but all of a sudden, the whoosh, and the way. I got gussied up. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so go out. I'll point to the exit. The exit. They go out that way. Sure. Don't sound confident in your answer. I mean, whatever you, wherever you point is the right way. That makes no sense. 
All paths lead to the same plane. Plane? Fling. Not flame. Fling. Fling. This is hurting my head. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ask, ask them what type of mushroom they are. No. <laughs> I'm just going to drop the spell. Right. And just start, like, massaging. Uh, as... My as uh, before you drop your spell, you hear hear the this <laughs> coming off from all over the place. Be my nightmares. Pretty much, what he said was, <laughs> he said. <laughs> Rajas cast exposition. <laughs> Just word vomits out everything. <laughs> Including. <laughs> For some reason, nope. while he's saying it, unintentionally, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's going a little crazy. So far, even though you've been here for. It seems to be a really long time. Uh, no one has seems to have been affected by the fairy friends. Would we had noticed that? Maybe. I mean, somebody would have probably started acting weird. That's weird. Okay, well, nowhere to go but. Uh, damn. Let's go to so, the right. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you want to stay in the cavern? There's a nice little Ooh. dark alcove. Seems to be void of the bear's reds. That sounds like a good thing. Or we can't see inside of it. It's really dark. Not even without dark vision. He, it, no, for some reason, it doesn't seem like you can really. It just looks like it's dark. You're like normally you can see through it, but you can't. I even with <clears throat> magical dark vision. Oh, nothing. Wow. Guys. That's that's dark. <laughs> um before we get too close to it, I wanna pick up a rock and toss it in. Alright, you hear you you look around for a rock, uh, and uh, you find that it's it's very few and far between. Like you don't even know how the fungus would have grown in this area. Uh, the ground is really, really hard, almost as if it's practically metal. But it's definitely stone. Uh, you will eventually are able to find a uh, loose rock, and uh, you toss it into the dark area. And you hear... Boop, boop, boop. So it's, it sounded like a rock hitting the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of bounced a couple times. Okay, so it's not some weird, like, portal, or... I don't know. It's just suspicious that it's a dark thing that we can't see through. Um, I hate to do it, because... But... I guess I would summon Selva and see if she can s safely come go in and out. Do you, do you give her like a little pet, like, please come back safe. <laughs> Fly. <laughs> she flies into to the darkness and dis seems to have disappeared. 
Uh, she... And then you just have her go in and then come out, that sort of thing? Yeah, just to see that yeah. it's... Like, she doesn't like, goes... disappear into the darkness. Yeah, she goes in, and just a couple seconds later, she flies back out, back to your shoulder. Now look at her. Are you okay? Did, did you see anything? Ooh. And it, it, you, you sense a shrug, and kind of gives you a little image of just a dark cave. Like, he, after going through the blackness, you could see with his dark vision just fine. Fine. Uh, when he turned around, it was just this black wall. And he went through it again, and there everybody was. Inside just looked just to be like a little cave. Just out of curiosity, because she hasn't been exposed to all this like we have. I want to look through her vision and look around just to see if there's anything different. Uh, looks around, pretty much sees the same thing that you do. Okay. I was just curious, maybe if she was not part of all this, she's seeing something differently. What about Borcat? Does he seem, like, off? No, he's his usual. Yeah. Uh... Well, right. we might as well just keep on going. I'll send her back to her little pocket dimension so she's safe. And I was like, well, it seems like it should be relatively safe in there. As far as Sova could tell, it was just a dark cave. We're probably just overthinking this. Yeah, but still. All right. Something's well, happening uh, to us in these caves. We can't see through that little tunnel. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I will take the first step in. All right. You walk through the blackness, and all of a sudden, there's this normal-looking cave in front of you. I'll keep on <laughs> taking steps. You walk Cautious. Are cave. you okay in there, Lassiter? Okay, last year you don't hear anything. Uh, do do I realize that there's like not behind me or whatever? No, oh, if you turn around, you don't see anybody. You just see this kind of blackness, right where the uh, entrance would be. I'll I'll stick my head through the darkness. Uh, everybody just else my sees head. his Lasser's head peek out. Oh. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm okay. Everything seems fine. Uh, and I'll bring my head back through. Well, well, let's hold each other's hands. Form a line. Form a line. <laughs> Everybody holds hands. Don't let go of. Don't let go of your accountability, buddy. You walk through the blackness into a cave which looks like normal rock. Am I... Do I see them? They'd be kind of comfortable. It's, it's pretty Can open. I see them? Yeah, you see them walk okay. walk through hand in hand. You don't, you, you don't see them until they cross over the barrier, obviously, but... As long as we're in the same... You call it. It's not a barrier because you can walk through it, but... I was just making sure we were ending up in the same place. Threshold was the word you're probably looking for? Yep, threshold. Any Ferris re res? Uh, after crossing that barrier, you see absolutely no Ferris res. Ferris, uh, can you still feel never like grow he looks up the exit of the cave yes it is that way and he kind of turns around and continues pointing hey <laughs> like he he points one way but 
instead of putting his arm back down as he's turning around, he keeps his arm up. Yeah, he in... actually does a full 360 and then some. <laughs> uh... Beyond the path, we just need to keep going. You've already been traveling for several hours now. Uh, you're probably at the point where normally you would try to find a place for rest. Can, uh, it, it, it might be nothing, but can I insight check him? Um, yeah, sure. I just feel like maybe I shouldn't trust him right now. Uh, 14. I mean, how did you feel about him before? <laughs> <laughs> nothing Good, seems but... nothing seems much different than his already already insane self but how do we know this no like grove even exists uh but was he also that lives <laughs> that lived there he was also the one that was becoming fungal wasn't he yeah he hey, still got a few yes. spots oh no <laughs> Does it look like he's grown the more? Servants that you met the other day, but does it look like it's gotten worse? Yeah, he's got a few more spots. Does it look like anybody else has it? Nope. What do you guys think? Should we... Can, should we trust him? I think he's I trying to lead us towards <laughs> whatever's happening to him, honestly. He has not given us a reason not to trust him. Okay. Well, pick a direction then. I mean, well, you've been you've already been traveling for uh, eight plus hours by this time. Oh. We yeah, you had up? had a full time, probably like half half a day traveling, and Sarah had pointing you in this direction, and you walked into this place. Yeah, maybe we should just take a break, a breather, try to get our bearings right. Yeah, I mean, we can't get more lost than we already are. It's true. So is this a short rest, or...? I mean, I mean, if you want to take a short rest and continue continue going, but you'd probably end up having to make constitution saving throws for, for uh, exhaustion. Because even with the short rest, you don't sleep. Let's do a long rest, then. Uh, I'll, um... I'll take first rest if no one else wants to, but um, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. Back soon, because I realize I forgot to push my beverage. So you're going to take a long rest? Yeah. Okay, cool. We will take a short break here while I refresh beverage. beverage. Oh, wait a minute. He's back. Never mind. Let's still go refresh so, your beverage. Nope, that's okay. Sorry. Um, it's not an immediate need. I just thought it would be go gotten a little longer. But that's okay. Because I need everybody to roll me a Christmas saving throw. I feel like I missed something now. Oh. Just need saving throws. Mm -hmm. that Missing Syrah. No, we got I'm there. Holly, we got. I think we got okay, all. That's it. So you all fall asleep. Oh. 
And in amongst her sleep, you have vision. You hear the sounds of the dark lake as your vision flies over a dark body of water and towards a town on the lake shore. You fly into a plaza and immediately recognize your friend Shushar, except Karad. You see this Kuatoa guy who, for some reason, seems seems like he should be familiar, but you've never met him before. He enters the plaza accompanied by a few other uh, Kuatoa. A nine-foot-tall statue stands here. Its body is roughly carved from some kind of wood in the shape of a humanoid female. Its head and form arms formed from the severed head and claws of a giant albino crayfish. These parts are lashed on with strands of gut and emit an overpowering stench. You can smell in this vision, apparently. Of rotting shellfish. Shells, brightly colored stones, mushrooms, and rotting fish are piled on the statue's feet and strung in garlands around its neck. Horse, horse stem Kuotoa has slowly circled the statue, alert and on guard, while a few others mill about gazing up at the statue and bowing repeatedly while chanting. Ushar speaks with a priestly dressed Kuotoa and they enter a nearby hut. Her vision follows them in. Uh, what is happening, Plup? Ishar asks. An older Kuotoa responds. The older Kuotoa responds. Two weeks ago, my daughter Blop received a powerful vision of Limugugan, the deep father, and claims he is our people's new god. Blasphemy against our mistress, the deep mother. With it, she seems to have gained immense power and has been gaining more and more followers each day. People have been split in two, fighting amongst ourselves. Deep followers, father's followers have been making more and more blood sacrifices and using it to chum the nearby waters where something is feeding on it. What would you have me do? I am but a simple monk. Those who follow the deep father consider you a heretic. I ask that you submit yourself as bait, lure my daughter into a sense of security. The faithful of the Deep Mother can cut off the head of this Deep Father's cult. You must have learned something during your travels that may help us to disrupt the sacrifice. Yusar thinks. Your vision goes dark but quickly returns, this time with a gruesome sight. The idol of Limugugan. The Deep Father consists of a large, hi large hide cut rightfully in the shape of a manta ray and stretched out on cords between two support poles, a dead, splayed-out manta ray is pinned to the center of the hide. Two dead octopi are, are draped across the top, their tentacles pinned and artfully arrayed, their heads tied together and painted with red and blue pigments. The idol reeks of decay, and the broad stone altar below the idol is stained dark with blood. The Archpriest of the Sea Mother steps forward across the span of the altar towards the Kuato waiting for him there. The time has come, he says, for us to acknowledge your divine vision and welcome it. I brought these, uh, brought this man as offering, or this Kuato as offering, whatever it is. He gestures toward Shushar, standing within a circle of guards behind him. Will you accept them? Well, why, Father? The younger pre Archpriest replies. I accept your offering in the name of the Deep Father. May their blood nourish and strengthen him. A burbling cheer goes up from the surrounding Kuatoa. Their fists raise in the air. The Kuatoa parade around the altar in a wide circle as they chant. Part of their path sends them splashing and wading through the shallows of the Dark Lake. You quickly can't tell which one, like, tell one faction of fish folk from the other. But you see the Archpriest of the Sea Mother and his whip moving towards the altar, whip being like his assistant. The Archpriest of the Deep Father calls, I blop the blop, call for the sacrifice to be brought forth. Kuitoa jumps to do her bidding, prodding Shushar to a, to a slight depression 20 feet from the altar, with a large grate at its center. The stone of the depression is stained with what could only be blood. And hear the gentle lapping of the dark great lake coming from coming up through the grate. The chanting grows louder. 
plop de -dop, plop uh, gestures toward the altar, whereupon her father suddenly attacks, striking her with his scepter. Kuatoa, lo loyal to him, surged forward to attack, while the guards that brought the brought you for brought Shushar forward stand in shock. Shushar spins around and conjures a dust devil, uh, pushing the guards backwards and a melee ensues. Your friend friend flings a blade of ice towards some nearby followers of the Deep Father. Suddenly, coming from the shallows are screams of terror. Tushar looks over to see Kuatoa being dragged under and swiftly attacked by some unknown creatures. The Kuatoa start to panic. Tushar looks over to Plop or Ploop and sees him fighting with his daughter. As he makes his final blow, his daughter cries out, Limu, Limu Gugan! Another sound rises up above the gurgling cries of the Kuatoa. The dark surface of the water further out bubbles and begins to foam. A thick, oily tentacle bursts forth, followed by another, and two monstrous heads break the surface, both resembling hideous, angry baboons with wickedly curved tusks. Both heads are attached to a single torso, and the monster's red eyes burn with bloodlust and madness. The creature rising from the dark lake must stand 30 feet tall or more, with water cascading down its back and shoulders. Upon reaching its full height, the great demon throws back both of his heads and roars. The city of Sloopadoop is momentarily goes silent. Voices of Kuatoa suddenly start chanting, Emugugan, Emugugan. Shushard looks around and sees a majority of Kuatoa are facing the demon and groveling in supplication. Loop is frozen staring at the beast. Loop is frozen staring at the beast. Shushard rushes to his side. Come, March Priest, we must away to safety. May the Deep Mother watch over us. He pulls the high piece priest with him as he vanishes into a crowd of panic Kuatoa running for their lives. The giant tentacle from the gigantic demon smashes into the buildings of Sloopadoop. I need everybody to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Madness, sheer madness. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Oh. <laughs> Guess God. what happens to a bunch of you? I'm sure me and Cyrus fine. Hopefully. <laughs> So, Syra and Lassiter, <laughs> you're kind of shook by the, uh, by the vision you just had. Harad. You are like, what the fuck? And your mind explodes. Not, not like actual explosion. I was going to say like, okay, I know we're ta we talked about me doing another character, but you didn't have to kill me off like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, it's, the the talk it's the metaphoric version of mind blown, except like at a higher level. We just and wake up and Karad's brains are like all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to roll me a a D one hundred. How about you guys? Well, let's try just. Well. Oh boy. Being drunk keeps you sane. Huh? Good, good thing I got got whiskey. 
Uh, after what I just saw, I needed a drink. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, th by that way, that's a flaw that's basically added to. Uh -oh. That's great. Welcome to the club, man. Don't worry, with the 12 steps, you'll be fine. It's 12 steps, right? I need a D100 from Holly. These are, these are really not that bad. So far. <laughs> Very nice. 69. Nice. He becomes a oh, sex scene. weird. So Holly gains a flaw. <laughs> I'm the smartest, wisest, strongest, fastest, and most beautiful person I know. Uh, <laughs> like, this is, like, what's changed? Well, uh, well, Holly, uh, from what I know, understands she's not that smart. She's probably not that wise. She knows that. Uh, yeah. Strongest, of course. Fastest? Eh. Yeah, I'm definitely faster than people. But did she ever really... Was she ever vain? <laughs> Age. He he looks over at you. Why me? It, well, you just called his name, his name, right? Oh well, I, I was saying. Or, or are you just wondering name. what he got? Yeah. Oh, I'm not told. Okay. Fuck that bitch. I wouldn't call Gage's name out like that. He scares me. <laughs> Age scares you? No. He's just... It's not scare, it's like... He's, he's more of like the serious... Guard type person. Alright. Uh, what's your speed? Be forty blades in Forty with blades in but thirty normally. That was a question, actually. Yeah. I'm not gonna make assumptions. And you all wake up and realize that you forgot to put anybody on watch. Um, I I thought I said that I was gonna take first watch first. Yeah, but you fell asleep. Oh, okay. You wake up in a dark ca cavern. Doesn't seem to really have an exit. Well, one of the walls is just fully black and doesn't look like snow stone. Oh, that's right. That's. All right. <clears throat> well, that was a nice little nap. That, that giant uh, double-headed demon, we've seen that before. You, what? You, I'm not just, sure what double-headed demon you're referring to. I take out the whiskey and just start drinking. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, we, we we had heard of the Demogorgon before, hadn't we? Then we saw the statue of it. Oh, do we all know that we had the same dream? 
Not sure. Know if they said anything. I'm just drinking. Uh, I'm, I said I, I'm. Talk- I think we've seen. Oh, I guess I would. Don't I had a dream of. About- <laughs> yeah. It's- I, I dreamt of, of that. Things. that... Uh, we got this. That was the uh, altar. The Deep Father. The two octopi. And That's... the stingray. Manta ray. Yeah. That's oh. pretty. There you go. Yep. He's pretty. He's What's that pretty. mouth do? Which one? Exactly. <laughs> um. So yeah, I would bring up the dream. Oh crap! And about I, I, seeing that same demon as a statue. That it was involved with the curse back in Brecklestug. I had the same dream. That's so odd. Um, how how does everyone look? Like, is everyone? I'm getting a head count. Uh. Do you have everyone there? They're all kind of shaking and kind of like some of them are like unnerved about sleep. It looked like they didn't sleep well. Like they slept, they got the effects of a long rest, but it wasn't a necessarily a good long rest. Uh, do any of your traveling companions look worse off? No. Uh, stool for some reason looks fine. Of course. He needs plot armor. Even extends his saving throws. Uh, Ront, uh. He became straight. Oh no. Try <laughs> that. Yeah. I'm not gonna make those jokes. Whoops. So Ron pulls you aside last year and says, "Look, we, we we need we just need to get out of here and get up to the surface. That's it. That's all we need to do. But uh, we need to get out of here and immediately. Uh, what was it? Bling and stone. We get there. Get to the surface. So we, we just need that's to. Get that's what I've been trying to get us to do. We're always going. Well, everybody's to going Grove. to Neverlight Grove. We don't need to go to Neverlight Grove. We need to go to Bling and Stone. Oh." Right, uh, I, I understand, um, and so I totally as soon as we out here, so here's the plan, as soon as we're out of here, we break off, we go up. Well, uh... Just leave everybody else behind. I, am I not everyone else? Am I, like... Well, that's why I, I, I want to bring you. Oh, Look, my goal that's... is to get out of the damn hell hole that's down here. That means so much. But we did make a promise that we would uh, at least get stool home. Fuck that. See, Lassa really agrees with him, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah. How, how about we we talk about this a little bit 
uh, after we like get out of here. All right. So, so uh, as soon as we get out of this damn thing, and then then we we just just leave. Oh, right. if, if they end up emerging at Neville Dark Grove, hey, we got him home. Let's go. I'm inciting Brunt. He just seems to be more enthusiastic about getting to the service. I mean, he's always been that way. It's, it, he he doesn't want to be down here anymore. Right. He's been going along because it's for you. Okay. Uh, he's, he's not necessarily, you know, you, you tell he's kind of like, mm, I want to get out of here. But he seems to be more intent on it. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Uh, you look over to Sarath, and Sarath's skin is red. Hmm. Has a few bumps. Okay. Uh, well, maybe not a few. Syra, oh, uh, good talk, good talk, Ron. Um, I'm just gonna go and make sure everyone else is okay. Um, you know the whole. No, I don't want no one's deaths on my conscious thing. And yeah, I'm gonna go over to Syra. Yes, Lassiter. Something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Something might not be wrong. But I feel like something's wrong. Um, so, first off, Sarah's, he's red. <laughs> um, my cat is going crazy again. My bad. Uh, uh, and Runt. He's, he might not uh, stick with us when we leave the tunnels. But this is all sudden, so I don't really know what's going on. Just suddenly, we're all experiencing weird, weird things, and Seraph is changing into some weird fungal creature. We all had a shared dream last night. That too. Oh, excuse me. Um. Uh, what is Karad doing? Getting my day drink on. He's starting the day out right. And I'm cooking some mushrooms. Because y'all fuckers need these damn mushrooms. I mean, we do have a druid. Wow, um, I'll, I'll be right back again. I'm back. Cool. Welcome back. <laughs> so, Brad's uh, 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 cooking and drinking. At the same time, next to an open flame. You see that, like, I'm, like, just, no, never mind, just. Yes. Right. You need to have an amazing... What? You, 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 now I'm just gonna walk up to Karad and like, are you okay? You you seem to have uh, been really taken to the drink since you woke up this morning. I'm just, just 
fine and perfect. Everything's perfect because all everything's fucked up. And you know what? Where was I going? Maybe you should slow down just a little bit. No. It's one thing to take the, the, nerd, the edge off, but we all need to be... We all need to have our wits while we're in this, these caves. Have I drank since we left the uh, Grackle Stew? I don't know, would you have drunk on that journey? I don't think so. I don't think I have anything on me. Do you have oh. the necklace on? Yes. Okay. Um. No, you already know what we're doing. Oh, damn. This withdrawal symptoms, uh, I wouldn't be drunk, right? <laughs> well, I mean, withdrawal symptoms isn't drunk. It's just withdrawal. It hurts. You. You. you you don't feel good. Like a really, really bad cold. Maybe maybe more of a flu. Damn. Never mind. I was gonna try giving Karat the necklace, but But then I'd be all fucked up, so I mean everything you drink tastes like water. I don't know if that's really, like, helping what you normally want to do. Can you drink? I feel like we need everyone's head to be here. I'm here. Are you drunk, though? What? What's that have to do with it? Uh, we're in a cave and we don't we don't know where we are if you saw what i saw last night you drink too okay uh ever since i got with y'all shit's gone to the shitter i i give her at my necklace and just start chewing on it I just take it off and put it on Karad. Yeah, okay, last for roll me a constitution saving throw. Your head hurts. It's like right behind the eyes. It's you're in this really dark room. I mean, there's no light in here, but for some reason, everything feels really bright. Damn it, I tried. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to... T you, you basically take it off and like... Uh, no. And put it back on. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I mean, you've never taken the time to like... Just go through it, so... You don't know yeah, what I'm happened. Not, if, not if going through that right like, now. In a dark tunnel... I'm not, I'm not going to be like all headachey stuff. <laughs> um, all right, everyone, we need to get situations. God, my God, my bad. You worry about me drinking? You can't even talk. <laughs> you need to get ready. And get on the road. We need to get out of here. Everyone's going crazy. I'm commanding everyone to get ready. Ron and and all the all the NPCs. Eric, you're writing. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Karad. Uh, uh, since you were cooking breakfast, uh, roll me a uh, uh, dexterity cooking utensils, basically dexterity plus proficiency, with disadvantage. Oh. 
Anybody who eats this, this is the worst meal that Karat ever made. It's awful. It's, 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 it's not like it's absolutely it's terrible, but compared to what he's been doing, like, what's wrong with him? Better than this. You see Snyder like, mmm. Let me just <laughs> discreetly sprinkle some press and digitation, change it up a little bit. There we go. Good job, buddy. Good as usual. In, in some places that normally he cooks it just right. Just get my, my salt shaker of press digitation. <laughs> I, I tell him it. it That's he, a somatic component. It's just like a salt shaker <laughs> motion. <laughs> also, I'm saying, like, in the morning when she's getting all pretty, she, like, perfume bottles herself for press digitation. <laughs> when she That's emerges good. from her cocoon. <laughs> Depending on the effect she wants, is the. will be the um, somatic component. Yep. Exactly. Holly, what, do, what does Holly think about this beautiful, beautiful lady? She ain't that good looking. She's always prettier. <laughs> I can kick her ass too. Do you say that, or are you just thinking that? Just thinking. Okay. Let's get back on the road. Yeah, get our things together and continue. And I just pick a direction and start mm -hmm. walking. And light of the the eerie light of the Ferris wheel. This isn't like a, a silvery or a bright light. This is like psychedelic, multicolored, weird cavern thing. You can see it's quite clear, but and and a little bright, but otherwise it's it just all the colors with the rainbow and then some. There are some colors you never even knew existed that you end up seeing in this weird, eerie glow of light. And that's where we're going to take a break so I can refresh my beverage. <laughs> Which is about halfway through, through the show. So, so be right back. Take it five.
on a scale of one to forty two. One to uh Doctor Strange. How are the lightings in this cave? One to Doctor Strange? Yeah, like you know how Doctor Strange movies has like all that uh light show going on. Uh yeah. I mean I haven't seen multiple Russo of Madness yet. Me neither. I'm mostly going off of the first one. We're going hey, to go see that tomorrow for date night. Yay. Um. Yeah, it's pretty psychedelic. Yeah. We have everybody back. Zara, you back? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. Can you hear me? Check. Yeah. yeah, I can't see you, so I need to hear you. I can hear you now. I don't want to see me. <laughs> All right. So you head out, travel through. Um, nice, eventful day. Um, just this weird psychedelic. caverns that you travel travel through eventually the fair's res seems to window out and you walk out into a tunnel seems very familiar look back there's no tunnel there And Sarath is looking in one direction. There! That direction! You're so close! Back to where we were January. Only about a day or so away. We continue en route. How long have we been traveling? Uh, you've been traveling for about the 10 day. I, I mean, from, uh, the last time we woke up. Uh, probably about half a day. Okay. It wasn't that long. Well, depends on your work. How you, how you feel about that. So if we have a days of travel do you do y'all wanna like cut that day into half or just travel the whole day I mean if you want to like stop after getting out of all that take you an extra day essentially or well half a day I should we keep going until we get tired. Alright. I think the less time we spend in these tunnels is, is better. We'll keep on going. You go, you end up walking through an area of uh, dim lighting, only lit by. Uh, some uh, bioluminescent fungi and algae. Um, at some point, uh, if I'm ever walking next to Ron, I'll ask him how he's feeling. All right. So, so which direction do you, do you know which way is Lindenstone? I mean, did. Did you get a map? Did anybody get a map? Uh, I think at the moment, um, we're just solely going off of, uh, Ceres right now. Well, Ceres wants to go to another light group. We don't need to go there. Right, but 
we don't necessarily know which way is blending stone. Ah, fuck. So we're probably gonna have to stay with these guys until we can hopefully get some more direction. Uh, he just kind of like bleakly walks after. Cool. Your travel for the, the rest of the day seems very uneventful. And I get a survival check to see if I find a good place to rest for the evening. We're about to lose your aunt, guys. How does Holly find this cavern? I imagine that she just says, wherever I throw this rock at is where we sleep, and that's it. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's ask the person who's controlling her. Probably with her, like, trying to keep an eye out on things, making sure nothing's going amiss, trying to also make sure she's looking good and whatnot. At the corner of her eye, she just kind of sees this alcove type, just, just barely sees it, but sees it, like, kind of just catches it at the corner of her eye. The entrance and she's just like that's it all right describe the alcove that she finds oh, making me work for this aren't you um I mean, how's the alcove that Holly feels is ideal looks? Like, did she have, like, she bought it a few other alcoves, but they were just not worthy of her existence. They, they like, something about them was off, just, like, the color or something, or, like, too fungy and all. But this one, just, like, everything just fit just perfectly, right? It had a nice enough space, maybe a little water access. And also, she can just maintain her beauty. Syra, you notice that Holly seems to be more prissy than you are. Um. So what is what is she doing differently that she hasn't done before? Actually, caring about her looks. But like, is she like fixing her hair in a certain way, or always looking at it and act and just making sure everything is just just right, even though it's always just right. She's making sure it's good. She has this long, gorgeous, flowing hair. Well, maybe not too long, but. Longer. This is naturally flowing. And 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 also, seeing her kind of like looking for a place to rest, uh, she she's like places which you would probably be like, oh, that would be sufficient. Uh, she's rejecting that, right? And, and if you ask her, it's just some mild little flaw that probably even you wouldn't really care about. <laughs> I guess I will just kind of walk up to her and... Well, Holly, I... I see you've started to take better care of yourself. What changed? I... I don't know. Just woke up and just... Knew how perfect I was. 
Oh, I mean, none of us, none of us can can be perfect, but we can sure try, right? Oh, I am. Well, I mean, you're perfectly strong and perfectly, you know, a hearty, hearty young woman, but and fast and smart, gorgeous. You are gorgeous in your own way. In every way. <laughs> well, let's not get let's not get too full of ourselves now. Just, just walk away. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Just <laughs> hair flip. So you, your hair flip and just kind of like splashes some water in her face. Just... <laughs> the alcove is perfect. It is like the ultimate dream place for what you can get down here in the underdark. There's a uh, stream nearby. The water seems to be crystal clear. Uh, it has places with, with like beds of, uh, uh, of moss, which are nice and soft. Um, is this? If you could call call a a cave in the middle of the underdark a a five-star hotel worthy spot this is it um i was trying to ask uh how close is everyone they could could we had uh was that conversation public i would think so okay i just wanted to know if i heard all of it I'm not. I'm trying not to. What's your uh, passive perception? Uh, twenty something. Twenty. Yeah, yeah, you totally heard it. Um, I'll, I'll. I'm gonna act like I didn't hear it. I don't want any part of that. Um. Yeah, I'll just set up, and um, at some point, we'll I'll stop, and so we can discuss uh, watch times. Huh? I'll go first. Always like, good. I need my beauty sleep. I was just thinking that. Under her breath, uh, under Cyrus' breath, clearly. I'll uh, <laughs> take second watch. Hey, do you guys I don't have maybe shade think... fans? I need a shade fan. I desperately need a shade fan. <laughs> you guys maybe think we should start uh, taking watch in twos? I uh, sometimes someone falls asleep and there's no one else to wake them up um oh no i just thought of something hmm. yeah, she's a water genasi she's being a salty bitch she's <laughs> 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 not <really> smart <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe anyway maybe two people should keep watch from now on maybe How do you guys feel about that? Well, there there are enough of us, and it would probably be safer. Yeah. Um. And technically, both of our familiars can stay up the whole time with everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'll look at um, 
little boy cat and asking him how he feels about that. He kind of grimaces. Uh, maybe. If 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 so, I kept you company. Would that make you feel better? I mean, can she stay up with everyone? She can stay out as long as I keep her out there, or, or until she dies. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It will be like Silva and whoever else is taking watch from now on. Yeah, unless she takes damage and dies, she's there. Or I send her away. Would you be notified if she like goes poof, dies? I would assume. It doesn't really say I on the say spell. Would, I think. I, I would say you would know. Okay, yeah. Like it would be like this, like, little, like, it's just like, hmm. I don't hurt or anything, but it'd be like, oh, there's my familiar. That works. Cool. I'm glad we had this talk. Right, so, you pop out Sova. I don't think you had brought her back since the last time. Nope, not since I looked through her eyes in that, in that tunnel. So it flies up on a, a perch and in, on a nearby fungus. A uh, good perch could see every place. And it's kind of, because of uh, her coloration, she kind of blends in. So as long as she's not moving much, you barely even see her that she's there. But she's got a good view of everything. Huh. Well, now that I think about it, um, you can't really take a watch with just Silva because it would just be you and yourself pretty much. Uh no, she has her own she has her own stats. Technically two separate roles. Okay. Or or somebody uh, rolls with advantage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But what what mm -hmm. if you become unconscious uh, it doesn't knock Sova unconscious. No. Really? Oh. No. Okay. We, we've been using her for a while to do watches, too. This isn't the first time. Yeah, it's not like it's a concentration spell or anything. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, like I said, she, could, she stays out as long as she doesn't die, or I, or I send her away. Anti-magic field. I'm just kidding. I'm just um, thinking out loud. I don't get that for a while. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'll take second watch. So. So I guess. Uh, Siren Sova, we first. If you want me to roll? Yeah, so go ahead and uh, roll a uh, perception check or a perception check with advantage. Well, uh, Silva does her own with advantage because she's an owl. Oh, okay. So you so can I'll do my own first. You. I'd rather just do my own than do hers. Okay. Either or. In a way, that's more rolls, I guess. I don't know. So here's mine. Technically, a total of three. And then... I'm on the wrong screen. Extras. Owl. Uh, perception number one. And number two... Very nice. Alright, so 21 the highest. Alright. As you uh, keep your watch, uh, it's actually very pretty. You heard kind of the, what sounds like the babbling of a creek nearby. 
It's very seems very calming. Yeah, you and so uh, watch and nothing seems to happen. It goes by uneventfully. Was there evidence of a creek before we settled down? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not just apparently Holly wanted to be near water. Okay, so I will go find Lassiter and wake him up. Lassiter, you're woken up by Syrah? Okay. I'll try my best not to wake Rot up. Okay. As I get up. Uh, Rot seems to be drooling in his sleep. Seems to be quite out. And you uh, are able to escape from his grasp uh, without incident. Borkad uh, hops over onto a rock nearby wherever you take take place and kind of perches himself up and looks around. Keeps an eye out. Oh, perception check. Or either perception check with advantage or uh, you can need roll. I'll do advantage. Nice. You hear the battling of a creek nearby. Some, some sort of water feature. Uh, but the area seems quite quiet and uneventful. Who's taking third watch? Uh. Um, I'm sorry. At some point during the uh, during my watch. Mm hmm. Since I have Borcad with me, um, I would have had uh, taken one of those mushrooms. Uh, damn it, which one was it? Um, it was the one that uh, increases your perception. Um, But it has a downfall as well. In root? No. So you uh, grab some of Nidhogg's nose that you have stored. And grab it. Uh, and you munch on it. How? You can smell the algae and everything in. Wait a minute. There's a... It's like a pleasant smell coming... You, you get one that's coming from Cyrus' direction, although she's all cocooned up right now. Uh, but somehow there's another one and you look towards it and you see a, a very laid out water genasi taking up as much space as she can and she smells very good like a nice sea breeze but in amongst the smells you also smell fungus mold does, does she does she smell like like a upper ground water or uh, like like if you were at an ocean ocean shore and you get that that like sea smell? Okay. Yeah. No complaints. Yeah, it's just it's, uh, you never realize that either. You smell that way, or maybe something changed? I don't think you've ever actually smelled her like that before. Don't go around smelling people. Um. 
Uh, you get a check? very distinct scent coming from Rant. Gives you a partial. Right. <laughs> uh, insight check on um, what's her face, Holly. Sure. Is that a nat one? Yep. Wow. wow. You just never realized that she smelled that one before. It's just... I mean, when was the last time you used Ned Hogs nose? I don't know. Or had some at the Ned Hogs nose? Interesting. And yeah, I'll just finish my watch. Okay. Watch goes by uneventfully. Besides these little off things. So who's taking third watch? Uh, let's do Eldis. And before I go back to sleep, I'll ask uh, Little Boar Cat if he's staying up or not. Uh, he just goes, he kind of like drugs and just goes over to, to, to the rock and where he was sitting and, and watching before. It was kind of like, all right. I, I'll give him the feeling of being thankful. And I'll go to sleep. You get the uh, feeling back of whatever. <laughs> you also get the sense, this is normal. And for some reason... Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oops. All right, and the day goes by unevent, or the evening goes by uneventfully. We all get a long rest, and you wake up and uh, Jim Jar's uh, sitting on a rock with uh, uh, little Borkad, uh, and uh, he seemed to be playing cards. Ah, you're uh, awake. Sorry Good morning. Good morning. Stop yelling. What? Is there something wrong with yelling? Just trying to wake you all up. I'm already awake. I've been awake up for several hours now after Eld decided to wake me up to take a watch. The little Borkhead here, as I was flipping through cards, he stole one of my cards, and then I'm like, what, what you want to play? And he's like, yeah. Well, at least that's what I thought he did, and it, uh, we played some cards. Amazing that how a little suited dragon can uh, do such a thing. It kind of broke even, though. It was weird. Well, except for the fact that, uh, well, he is your familiar, right, Lassiter? Uh, you owe me five gold. I'm taking sips of whiskey. Get that good, perfect spot going. Uh, how how about I pay you back later? Yeah, I suppose. Not like we're spent. We have any place to spend it, anyways. 
once we get to Blinden Stone, we'll be, we'll be right on the ball. Right, right. I think I know which way it is. So, but first, never like Grove. Right, right. Uh, did uh, is Rot nearby in this conversation? Jim Jar is not being quiet. Ah. You look over at Rant. He's kind of eyeing Jim Jar. Darn. <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna happen. Fine. Uh. <laughs> um. How's everyone else doing? Uh, Prince Darendel. Uh, right. uh, Prince Darendel. How different is he? Do we know Prince Darendel? The shame. He's just a, he's a Quagoth elf, elf that's been polymorphed into a Quagoth. Quagoth, whatever it is. He's like I'm doing perfectly fine. I can. I can deal more with, um, a little personality disorder. Like, if he feels like he's someone else, it's fine. Let him well, be him. Because I am. <laughs> of course you are, buddy. <laughs> so Sarah, on the other hand, he just coops me out. He's red. Right, that's a thing. Guys, Sarah is red. Yeah, you mentioned this yesterday. It's very obvious that he's red. I mean, it's not like he can hide it. Okay. We, we know the... We know the, the things that we fought a few days old growth. What's you see in the still grove? lower by her, like, motions for Sarah. Sarah spends, uh, gets on a knee and gets closer to stool. Stool, like, touches his face and kind of, like... He's uh, talking kind of off in a corner. You can't hear what he's, what he's saying. Can I see And, and then mouth? Stool, like, gives him this, like, look and looks like he's, like, concentrating hard. And Sarah just kind of looks at him, cocks his head. Is this? And then the stool just shrugs. The stool walks Can up I to you, Laster, and says, "Oh, he looks like he's turning into a sports servant, but um, nothing's affecting him right now. So I think he's okay right for now. Like if, once we get back, we might be able to figure out a way to like reverse it. I'm not sure. I've never. I don't know how to do these things. But um, by the way, warning: we have sports servants." Usually there are bad guys that instead of killing them, we just put them under our saw. So. Yeah, you do good work then. We take care of them. So he won't attack us or anything? I mean, if you don't attack us, of course we're not going to attack you. That would be silly. We're friendly. It's those who aren't friendly to us. Okay. I'll take your word for a stool. We won't have to put old Yeller down. Uh, I mean, right I now, am. it's like like if he has some sort of master that would be doing it, he's not around, so it wouldn't be able to give him instructions. I mean, at some point, he might if it gets really bad, then he might might go like completely catatonic. But but there is a nice thing. I, I think I remember. Um, I wasn't really taught, so, uh, but from what I've seen, uh, I think I have an idea on how I could, like, influence him. But he's not to the point where I can do that. Uh, or I don't really, I could, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. But uh, I've got a general idea. Like, I wasn't fully taught, it's just kind of like things I saw. We don't have to worry about saving him right now, is all I, all I'm hearing. 
Yeah, the whole red thing is weird, though. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's see. We back on our way. Do you actually make breakfast? Yes. Okay. I always make breakfast. All right. Dexterity with disadvantage. Dexterity plus prof proficiency. Cookie check. There you go. Uh, strangely enough, uh, this today uh, is great. How does Crad drunk cook a delicious breakfast? He doesn't even know. Just slap shit together and just be like, yep. That, that, that probably works a little bit. Alcohol. Then when he tries it, he's like, oh. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. If you spike the uh, dinner or food, I won't be able to taste it. Well, it's more of it gives it the flavor of the whiskey and stuff. It burns, the alcohol burns out. I can't taste alcohol. There is no alcohol. Even though Crad tried to have there be alcohol in it, it, it really, the alcohol burned out. That's true. Did I give you an ever, a always, uh, never ending uh, whiskey thing? I don't no. remember. Okay, so you no. may run out eventually here. Yeah, soon. What are you attacking? Nothing, I was testing something. Okay. <laughs> I was ready to take Holly down. <laughs> I'm preparing there's, myself. There's now a rivalry. Either that or she's waiting for a defense against Holly, who's going to be like, You're ready to me. You must die. Or something like that. Alright. Uh, should we be on our way? Anyone else need anything to do? Have anything to do? Oh, uh, since it's fun, you know, I'll, uh, I, I've emerged from my cocoon and I've done my spritzing. And as I'm doing my usual r routine, I'm just kind of looking over at Holly and seeing what she's doing. How's the current Holly wake up in the morning? Oh, like always. Uh, that hasn't changed. It's just she's more... aware of how she looks like before she really didn't care but now she like even though she knows she looks great like she's like aphrodite incarnate she's so launching it making sure everything's just like just right press up like make sure everything's sitting good yeah Adjusting, adjusting the straps on her armor to her, her clothes to give her a little more boost to her cleavage. It just highlight certain areas. The, the 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 difference is really more of she she primps herself a little. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sadly, her sadly she doesn't need a. Well, sadly, I'm not sure if it's sadly, but she barely needs to prep her hair because it's always flowingly beautiful. All right, after a delicious breakfast. Um, actually. I can't think of anything right now. That's fine. So, you head out. Sarah's pointing the way towards Nether Light Grove. We are almost there, my friends. We're almost there. And uh, actually, it needs survival checks, uh, checks to stay on track. Uh, 
Red doesn't help it worth shit. Negative does Holly. Oof. She's too busy making sure she's looking good. I'm gonna do a Okay, cool. So you get a little off. Uh, it looks like you're about to. Uh, Eldith seems to be like. Sarath is pointing the direction. He kind of knows the absolute direction that he needs to go. But uh, Holly, or the, a few times he's kind of pointing like just off. It's like, are you sure it's not over here? And then and Eldith kind of kind of goes, oh yes, it's over this way. And points you in the right direction. But it seems like you're on the right track to get there. All of a sudden, opening it up, let's see, do I have this? Here it is. Oh, da, da, da. Let's get you guys on the map here. Actually, everybody put you on the map because I think I've had this problem where uh, down in this area. I think I've had this problem where people can't control their tokens. So, get on the map and then I'll put you in there where you need to go. Right. Oop. I think we've got a... Holly in front. Pale cream and beige stalks grow thick and tall, resembling a surface world forest. Fungi grow in profusion everywhere, and it's hard to find anything resembling a path between them. The giant caps of the Zerkwood mushrooms obscure your view of the cavern ceiling, but luminescent fungi have there give off a shimmering aura. With each step taken on the soggy ground, a rank scent of decay rises around you. And Stool says, <gasps> We're home! Yay! And so it's like, yes, here we are! And that's where I'm going to call it tonight because I didn't prepare this part. <laughs> <laughs> I cast fireball. <laughs> Kill it all. I thought Sarah was about to like blow up or something. But I thought I, I thought we'd finally make it to Never Night Grove. Bring the stool Yay. home. And it's gonna be such a happy occasion. Web of flame. But uh, yeah, sorry for the shorter show, but the uh, um uh, I actually was so much into writing the thing that I didn't really get. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. We're almost in Never Light. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Yeah, well. Uh, how did, how did you like your little vision? <laughs> I was like, oh, we're, we're seeing this. It, it's basically, you, you skipped an entire thing, so... You still get to see it. <laughs> still get to see it, at least. We we skip something? Yeah. yeah we didn't go to Slippy Doop. Yeah. Could have gone to Slippy Doop and take the Dark Lake to, uh, 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 Rackle Stew, but you decided to take the long way. Oh. Was that safer for us? I mean. I mean. I don't know how much you want to say. Or not, is anything but... safe here? Oh. Yeah, I well, mean, safer. based Just off your head. vision, yeah. would that have been safe? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, just Demogorgon showing up in front of you. Yeah, I'm sure that's... And, and you can that, take him. Yeah, so Lumu, Lumu Guggen, Guggen is basically a Kuto mispronunciation of Demogorgon. Um, it doesn't matter right now, but, um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to see anything or not. I do not. Yeah, you should see things. 
I can't see. Night vision. Because my gear token's broken. I need to fix that. There it goes. I can yeah. see everything now. Alright. Come on. And that's right. 